Hi, this is Tammy from DayOfTheIndie.com. In this short video tutorial, you'll learn how to create and use your own custom brushes in Photoshop. Start by launching Photoshop and creating a new file. I have a few saved presets here. You'll notice that one of them is titled Custom Brush Max. While it's possible to create custom brushes at a size of 2500 by 2500, which Photoshop supports, I wouldn't recommend it. The general rule to follow here is to create the brush at a size that works best for you. But remember, the larger the size, the more memory it'll require. Also, because they are pixel-based brushes, they tend to scale down better than they scale up. With that in mind, I generally create my brushes at 300 by 300 with a resolution of 72. You'll notice that I have the background set to white. This is because Photoshop brushes are grayscale only. In this case, whatever is white will be transparent and whatever is black will be 100% visible. In the case of any gray areas, the closer to black they are, the more visible they will be. So with these settings in place, go ahead and create the new file. Now switch to the brush tool and grab a standard hard round brush. Set the size to 10 pixels. Now draw a few lines of varying sizes across the canvas. Once you have the pattern or the brush lines the way that you want, you can save it as a brush preset. Do this by selecting the option Define Brush Preset from the Edit menu. Then give the preset a name and click OK. Once that's done, the brush will be automatically selected. At this point, if you create a new file, you'll have access to the newly created brush. As with other brushes, you can set the color as well as other properties like the shape dynamics and the scattering. But creating custom brushes from simple brush strokes isn't all that you can do. You can also create brushes from images. Here I have a file which includes Dottie, Spec, and the Day of the Indie logo. If I wanted to create a custom brush using Spec as my image, he's the little ball off to the right, I can do that. I'll start by selecting the area of the image I want to use. Then, just like before, I'll save it as a brush preset and give it a name. Now I can use this brush or image anywhere I want simply by selecting the brush. A single click is best in this case. You may have noticed there's a square around my image. You'll also notice that it's not full color. And in fact, it's using the same red color that I selected before. That's because custom brushes are grayscale only. In this case, if I wanted to isolate just spec, I would need to remove the background layer before creating this brush preset. When I create the brush this time, it doesn't include the background. And because it's a brush, I can select any color I want. I'll go ahead and select blue. So now you've gone ahead and you've created all these really cool custom brushes. Suppose you want to share those brushes. It's very simple. Open the preset manager, select the brushes you want to include in your set, click the save set button and give the set a name. It's as simple as that. You now have an ABR file you can share with the world. On the flip side, importing brushes is just as easy. Let's go ahead and delete the ones that we created and reload them from the ABR file that we just saved. 
This time, instead of clicking the Save Set button, hit the Load button. Then, locate the ABR file that you want to load and click Open. That's it. The brushes will load into your Preset Manager and they're ready to be used. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoy creating and using custom brushes in Photoshop. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave a comment, let us know on Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.